Hello everyone and welcome to Jumperman Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY and today's lesson is what is a heat pump and how does it work? Thank you to everyone tuning into Jumperman Tech and a heat pump by definition is a compression cycle system used to supply heat to a temperature controlled space. The same system can also remove heat from the same space. In simpler terms, a heat pump is an air conditioning unit that can provide heating and cooling with the use of a refrigerant. This is accomplished with the use of a reversing valve, also known as a four-way reversing valve. Understanding how this valve operates is the key to understanding of how a heat pump works. A reversing valve is a device used to reverse the direction of refrigerant flow depending on whether heating or cooling is desired. I will go further into explaining how this valve operates in my next video as this video will explain its basic operation so you can understand how a heat pump works. Before explaining the diagram that I drew, I thought it would be much easier for everyone to understand by using this as an example. So we're now looking at my window air conditioning unit and as we know this only provides cooling and it brings cool air inside. Inside we have something known as an indoor coil which is actually our evaporator coil and it provides cooling for the indoor space. On the opposite end, if you ever noticed, well, that is a condenser coil and it rejects heat. It's hot, it's blowing hot air out. So basically, the way a heat pump works is that by the use of the four-way reversing valve, it redirects the flow of refrigerant. So now, your outdoor coil becomes your indoor coil. By this, I mean that instead of rejecting heat outside and blowing cool air inside now it works the opposite way so now hot air is blowing inside and the cool air is blowing out so here's a diagram i drew and this is going to show the flow of refrigerant in our cooling cycle in this cycle this is our regular air conditioner so here we have our compressor leaving the compressor is our discharge line this control here is actually our reversing valve. So we enter the, the four-way reversing valve as a high pressure, high temperature, superheated vapor. Leaving the reversing valve, I highlight it over here, it travels in to our condenser. In this case, this is our outdoor coil where we are rejecting heat. Coming into the condenser, we are a high pressure, high temperature, superheated vapor. Leaving the condenser, where our refrigerant condenses, it becomes a liquid. It becomes a high temperature, high pressure, subcooled liquid. If we travel along, we're going to enter our metering device where we have a drop in pressure. Leaving the metering device, we enter our indoor coil, which in this case is our evaporator coil, where we are actually blowing out cool air. We're actually absorbing heat, but here is where we're having our cool air. So entering the evaporator, we are still a liquid, and what happens in the evaporator is that our refrigerant evaporates. So we turn from a liquid into a vapor once again. Now leaving the evaporator coil, we are a low temperature, low pressure, superheated vapor leaving the evaporator. We now go through our four-way reversing our valve once again and this directs the refrigerant back into something called an accumulator and then back to our compressor and so forth and so forth. Our cycle repeats. So what happens is when you call for heating your indoor coil swaps out with your outdoor coil it reverses the flow of refrigerant. Now, this is the refrigeration cycle in heating mode. So as you can see, instead of going out here through our discharge line, like the opposite diagram, we are now going this way. So let's explain this. So here's our compressor. Leaving the compressor, it's still our same discharge line. We are a high pressure, high temperature, superheated vapor and instead of traveling to the outside coil where we are rejecting heat, now we're gonna go inside our indoor coil, 
where we're gonna reject our heat and blow hot air instead of cool air. So coming out the compressor, that's our discharge line. Here's our reversing valve, and it's gonna redirect the flow of refrigerant into our indoor coil. So now our indoor coil becomes our condenser instead of the evaporator. And our outdoor coil becomes our evaporator and not our condenser. It is just the opposite. So now, high pressure, high temperature, superheated vapor enters our indoor coil. And this is basically our condenser. The indoor coil and outdoor coil is the same thing. It's just, a, it's just a coil. It's a copper tubing with some aluminum fins around it. They are both the same. It's just what is their purpose? We reverse the flow of refrigerant, so we reverse their purpose. So leaving our indoor coil now, which is, remember, our condenser now, we enter as a high pressure, high temperature, superheated vapor. Then about midpoint, we have latent heat of condensation, where we change from a vapor into a liquid. So now leaving our condenser, this is our liquid line. In our liquid line, we are a high pressure, high temperature, subcooled liquid. We enter our metering device where we have a drop in pressure. We continue along, and now we're going to enter our outdoor coil, which is now our evaporator. So we're going to now be blowing cold air outside and inside, we're gonna be blowing out warm air. So entering the evaporator and about midpoint of the coil, we have latent heat of evaporization. Excuse me for mispronouncing that. And we change from a liquid back into a vapor. We exit as a low temperature, low pressure vapor. Superheated vapor to be exact. Now leaving the evaporator is our suction line. If you follow the flow of refrigerant, now we come back into our reversing valve and our refrigerant is directed back here, whereas this is still our suction line, into an accumulator and back to the compressor and so forth and so forth. And that is how a heat pump works. Here's a look at our four-way reversing valve one last time. Two things remain constant here, always. This pipe here entering our four-way reversing valve is always our discharge line. This is leaving our compressor. This middle port here is our suction line and always returns back to the compressor. So we enter our discharge line as a high pressure, high temperature, superheated vapor. And we always return to the compressor as a low temperature, low pressure, superheated vapor. A compressor is also known as a vapor pump. If any liquid gets in the compressor, well, you can say goodbye to that. <laughs> and you could always give us a call. So, basically what happens here is that this valve redirects the, ref the refrigerant either through this side or it redirects our refrigerant through this side. Specifically, our high, our high pressure, high temperature, superheated vapor. In our example, we entered through here and exited through here where our outdoor coil is our condenser. Since we switched over to heating mode, we now exited through this port, which now our condenser is our indoor coil. So that's basically all it is. It's just a redirection of flow of refrigerant where your indoor coil becomes your outdoor coil and your outdoor coil becomes your indoor coil depending if you're cooling for heating or cooling. To fully understand how a heat pump works, you must understand the air conditioning and refrigeration cycle. In my video description, there will be a link to one of my previous videos explaining the refrigeration cycle. In my next video, I'm going to fully explain in detail how the four-way reversing valve actually operates. And if anybody found this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you all next time.